Hi everyone, this is Precalculus, Chapter 2, Part 4. Um, and this lesson covers composition of functions. An important way to build a new function from two already defined functions is to use the output from one function as the input for the other function. So if we have function 1, we put a number into that. So this would be function 1. And then the output from that becomes the input for function 2. So what we put into function 2. Let's say we put um, a number into function 1. Let's say function 1 is... f of x equals x plus 2. Let's say that we put the number 3 into that. So we would say 3 plus 2 is 6. And then 6 becomes the output of that function and the input of this function. So let's say that function 2 was g of x equals x minus 1. So then we would say 6 minus 1 equals 5. And we get our output of the composite of those two functions. All right, when we build a function, we say that we are composing the two functions. The new function is called a composition or the composite of the two functions. If we feed the original number x into g of x and then feed the output of g, of g into f of x, the result composite function is denoted in either of the following ways. This is what you're going to see most of the time, but you may occasionally say that. So this is f of g of x. First we did g of x, and then we fed that into f, okay? Or the composition of f of g of x. All right. The function into which the first feed, into which we first feed the number, is always written second in the official notation, right? So whatever is written, remember we said f of g, uh, let's see, how did they put that? Of x, right, like that. Whatever is the second one, that's what we're going to feed. Okay, so we're going to do that first, then we're going to feed that into f, okay? That may be confusing at first, but the next example shows why this makes sense. So, let's say that f of x is 2x minus 3, and g of x is 5x plus 12. Find the composition or composite function, which comes from feeding the number x into first g, and then using the output of g for the input of f. So if we feed x into this, f of x, we're just going to get 5x plus 12, right? So that's our output from g. Then we have to feed that into x right here, f of x. So we put f of 5x plus 12 equals 2x minus 3. Now, wherever we see an x, we have to put that in its place. So that would be 2 times 5x plus 12 minus 3. That would be 10x plus 24 minus 3, which would equal 10x minus 21. So that is the composition f of g of x equals 10x plus 21 once we put those two together. Let's check the answer in the example above by feeding the number negative 4 into g and then feeding it into f. Then let's compare the answer with what we get by putting negative 4 into what we figured out was the composite, right? Okay, so if we put did g of negative 4, we're going to do g of negative 4 equals, this is 5x plus 12 with g, right? So we just put our negative 4 wherever we see an x, so we'd have 5 times negative 4 plus 12. 5 times 4 is 20, It'd be negative 20 plus 12, which would equal negative 8. Okay, so now we're going to take this negative 8 and we're going to feed it into f of x, which was f of negative 8 equals, okay, and this was f of x equals 2x minus 3. Remember, so our negative 8 is going to go where x is there. So that would be 2 times negative 8 
minus 3. 2 times negative 8 would be negative uh, 16 minus 3, which would equal negative 19. Okay, so that's what we get when we run that through there. Now, will we get the same answer if we run it through what our new function was when we composed the function out of 2? So, f of g... again. Alright, f of g of x equals 10x plus 21. So if we're trying to find f of g of negative 4, right? We're just going to put our negative 4 wherever we have an x right there. So 10 times negative 4 plus 21, which would be negative 40 plus 21, which would be negative 19. So they come out the same. All right. So just as we predicted to illustrate with the diagram, our input was negative 4. We put that into 5x plus 12, and we got negative 8. That's our g. Okay, then we put that negative 8 into our f function, which was 2x minus 3, and our output was 19. When we had put these two functions together originally, we got 10x plus 21. If we feed negative 4 into that f of g of x, we get negative 19, comes out the same. It makes a difference which, which function comes first. When you compose two functions, in the example above, f g of f of x would be g which is 2x minus 3 of f, right? So we would feed that in there, and it would come out different. It's 10x minus 3, which is not the same thing. We cannot get f of g of x by multiplying the two functions or by adding them or in any other way than using the method shown in the previous example. So you've got to feed one into the other. All right, let's do some examples. So here's our f of x is negative 2x plus 10, and our g of x is x plus 1. In this one, a... We need f of g of x. So first we're going to take g of x, which is right here, and we're going to feed it into our f of x. So if f of x equals negative 2x plus 10, we're going to do, we're going to find f of g of x right here, which is x plus 1. So wherever we see x in this, we're going to put our x plus 1. So that would be negative 2 times x plus 1 plus 10. All right, so that would be negative 2x minus 2 plus 10, negative 2x plus 8. Double check that. Yep. So that would be f of g of x. All right, so next for B, we're going to do G of F of X. So we're going to be taking, remember we always do the center first, F of X, and we're going to feed that into G. So F of X is negative 2X plus 10, and we're going to feed that into function G. So G of X equals X plus 1, and we need to find G of negative 2X plus 10. So we're going to have to put this where that x is. So it would be negative 2x plus 10 plus 1, and we get negative 2x plus 11. Right there. All right, the last one is f of g of x. And on this one, we're just multiplying those. Those are not being composed into a new function. That's like we did before. So we just take, that really means f of x, right, times g of x. They're not being composed, okay? So I take my f of x, which is negative 2x plus 10, and I multiply it times my g of x, which is x plus 1, and I would get, we just rainbow that, so that will be negative 2x squared, and then that would be negative 2x, and then that would be 
positive 10x, and then that would be positive 10. And then we put our like terms together, and we're going to get negative 2x squared plus 8x plus 10. Okay, so that, that was just something that we've already done. We just multiplied the two functions together. We get three different answers if we do that. Okay. When you get to calculus, you will find that it is to your advantage to express a complicated function as a composition of two simpler functions. So express this as f of g of x, where f and g are both simpler functions than the original. So if we substitute any number for x, for instance 3, we would first substitute x equals 3 into the 3x squared plus 2x minus 1, and then we would raise the answer to the 88th power. That two-step procedure tells us how to solve the problem. The first function in this case is g. We will solve g will be 3x squared plus 4x minus 1 right here, right? And then we would raise it to the 88th power, so that would be our f of x. All right, so you're going to be doing exercise four, and I'll do one of each of these for you. So composition of functions. In each problem, find. All right, so for A, we have to find f of g of x. All right, and it tells us for number one, A, here's what our f and g is. Okay, so how you would write that when you're doing your homework, it's important to keep this neat so I can tell what your answers are. You would write number one, and then you'd have A for number one. So A tells us to do G of X first, right, get an answer for that, and then feed that into F of X. So our G of X is 8 minus X, so I'm going to say F of G of X All right, so that means our f, g of x, is 8 minus x, okay? And our f of x is x plus 8, so wherever we have an x, we're going to put that. So we would get 8 minus x plus 8, which would be 16 minus So we're just feeding the one function into the other function. I'm going to double check that make sure I got that right. Yep, 16 minus x. Okay. And then you would do B, C, and D. All right, so for number two, you would write number two, A. So number two, we want F of X equals X plus one, and then G of X is X plus two. So if we're doing G of X first, that's this one, and we're going to feed that into our F of X, which is F of X equals x plus 1, and we're feeding in, so we want f of x plus 2. So wherever we have an x here, we're going to put that x plus 2, so we'd have x plus 2 plus 1, which would be x plus 3. Easy peasy. All right, for another example, I will do number four, and on this one, I'm going to do D. So, four, D. So, for number four, oh, A, B, and C only. All right, so I will do, I'll do B. So, for B, we need to find F of X of G, okay? So, 
first we're going to find, take our f of x, which is x to the 12th, and we're going to feed that into g of x, and g of x is x to the negative 3. So wherever we see an x, we're going to have to make that be, we need g of f of x, which is x to the 12th. So when we do that, we're going to get x to the 12th, to the negative 3. And remember, when we have a power raised to a power, we just multiply 3 times 12 would be 36. And we get x to the negative 36. And that would be the answer to that one. All right, most of these are pretty basic. Just remember that you're just feeding one function into the other function. All right, let's try one where we can do d, where we're trying to find f of g of 2. Uh, we'll do number 6. 6, d. Okay, so for 6d right here, 6 is going to be f of x and then g of x right there. So for d, we're wanting to find f of g of 2. Okay, so that means we have to feed g, I mean 2, into g first and get the answer for that. So g is g of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 3, and we need g of 2. It's our first step. So we're going to say 2 squared plus 2 times 2 minus 3. 2 squared is 4 plus 2 times 2 is 4. Minus 3, form 4 would be 8, minus 3 equals 5. Okay, so the answer for our uh, g of 2 right here is 5. And then we're going to feed 5 into our f of x, so what we need is f of 5. Alright, so I'm going to get f of 5, f of x equals 3 over x, and I need f of 5, which would be 3 over 5. And that's the answer to that one. So 6d. Alright, so all these are pretty simple. You're just feeding one function into the other function. Alright, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.